edit some videos and I make some video because I've been so busy with the kids with their schooling and then I don't have any uh, helper right now I don't have I don't have nanny and then I don't have a you know, helper in the house so I've been doing everything I woke up early in the morning just to prepare the kids breakfast and the kids lunch for the school I feed the kids give them a bath so I've been so busy every day every day so there's no more time it's tricycle tricycle noise from outside there's no more time to to edit because once I get into the house I've been so tired and then, um, today I'm going to topic about what happened to James last week and the good thing good thing about having a Philippine insurance or they call it Bell, uh, Bill Health so um, I'm uh, what I call that James been have COVID cold, COVID cold for more than a month. So I've been taking him to the doctor on and off. I've been taking him to the doctor several times, but medicine didn't work. And this one, the med, the doctor that I to, uh, I went through. He, she is pulmonary doctor Peja Peja Pulmo so she's expert in pulmonary for the babies kids so I took her there him there he get a little bit uh, he get better now so um, he had a mild as he had a mild asthma he had a mild asthma a mild mild pneumonia and he had a asthma the doctor told me that his asthma is uh, I call that she he needs to do to, to have a maintenance medicine now the inhaler so he had that inhaler every day every day he needs to use that inhaler because he had an asthma I guess he got that from my side because my mom, my mother have an asthma also and she have a weak immune system and also my grandma from my father's side she have an asthma too so and I have an asthma long long time ago but when I went to US I never had an asthma so it's been long time ago now James had to to have a maintenance the inhaler. So when I took them to the doctor last Sat Friday, last Friday, took him them there just for the check up. I was expecting they're gonna give us uh, more medicine, but the doctor uh, told ha us that this is already emergency. You need to admit admit him right now to the hospital so they took us to the emergency room we paid for the emergency room uh, we took uh, them uh, we stayed there in the hospital for two days my sister asked if they have a public room but they said no we don't have a public room all this private room so when before they admit us they asked for a 5,000 pesos uh, 5,000 pesos for administ uh, uh, what they call that what they call that admit admit fee something like that so before they admit us good thing I have a uh, my ATM card with me so I pay 5,000 pesos before they take us and then after two days after two days in the hospital all the clinic, uh, all the doctor, uh, the doctor and all the nurse, the other staff, they're all good at that hospital. I don't have any complaint on them at all. And they're really good. 
So my bill was twenty something, twenty thousand something, almost thirty thousand pesos. So thirty thousand pesos for just two days. So the good thing about having a bill help, I am a dual citizen, so I can I can get a Philippine health insurance because I'm still Philippine citizen. So April, I think I apply for my Philippine citizen, uh, my bill help around May. I apply for May, and it's not that hard to apply for Philippine. Philippine Health Insurance, Bill Health. It's not hard. You just go to the their branch or their yeah to their the Philippine Bill Health branch. You apply, sign up a form, and then after signing up the form, you pay. And then I told them I am pregnant, and they asked me when is your due, mom. I told them. My due is on January, first week of January. So they told me, oh, all you need to do right now, mom, you need to pay it from June to December. So six months. I pay for six months, I said. So you can able to uh, use this when before your, uh, your, your delivery. So I pay it. Uh, it's about 1,200 pesos. So 1,200, how much is that in dollar? I, can, I don't want to compute right now, my mind is. So 1,200 pesos. I think the one dollar is 50, 50 pesos. So you will just divide it if you want to compute. That's what I paid for six months for my Philippine health insurance. And also my kids is already include on that bill help on me. I can't include my husband yet because my husband is um, American citizen. So when he retire here, maybe I can add him. I don't know how what is the process yet. So I have my Philippine insurance, and it's work about. Uh, I pay for six months, so twelve hundred pesos, one thousand two hundred pesos. And then last week it's July yeah it's Ju still July yeah last week I didn't uh, expected that I would use that Philippine health insurance when James admit so I use it and then the hospital uh, take my ID Phil Philippine uh, Bill health Bill health ID and then uh, I didn't realize how much is going to end up on my bill when my sister asked how much is the bill and then she came she came back to the room she told me this is what you need to pay now I pay for 3200 pesos so it less about uh, 20 grand 20000 pesos with uh, my bill help less than 20 because I pay 5,000 for admission fee uh, admission fee 5,000 then the total balance that I pay is 3,000 but my bill supposed to be is almost 30,000 but because of the bill help that I use it end up paying about 8,000 all include the admission fee and that's a private hospital uh, yeah and then so there's really an uh, advantage from getting a pill health <laughs> uh, you never know when it can happen the emergency especially you having uh, kids so for those who are in the states if you're planning on to do vacation I suggest that get a pill help right away because especially vacation the kids they didn't get used to the weather so if they are something happen like emergency you will not gonna spend that ridiculous amount so 
better to get that pill hat. It's not that it's very expensive to pay for the Philippine health insurance and it's uh, better to have it and what do you call it? So that's my suggestion. Um, even you are a green card holder, what uh, document I pros I gave is just my Philippine passport. Yeah, they asked me for a valid ID, so the valid ID that I just show them is my Philippine passport. And then I filled up that form, and then they asked me to pay this, so I pay. After I pay, they asked me to get a picture one by one, so. I give them picture one by one that's for the card the pill health card and then that's it after that I have it it didn't last I didn't process long so I think we just been there for less than an hour to get that Philippine health insurance done taken care of um, so that's my experience about Philippine health insurance so, so far, it's positive. So, don't know how much I'm gonna end up on my delivery on, on this coming January. Because I will use it again. <laughs> I don't think that our, the, some of the insurance from the states, when they will, here in the Philippines, they can use it. I'm not really sure about that. So, better if your Filipino wife well, get a when they do vacation here for six months or two months especially those who have a small kid better they will be better she will get a Philippine health insurance and then uh, include their include her kids and include your kids in there so if in case of emergency yeah so that's it for now yeah. thumbs up thumbs, thumbs down. down subscribe to bodywatchph.com bye bye <laughs> thumbs up James thumbs up thumbs down <laughs>